What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of Snow Runner and in today's episode we're going to be checking out the dam. Now we picked this thing up in the last episode. I'm really happy about it. This thing is an absolute machine. Once you get all the upgrades for it, mind you. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if there's any upgrades that we don't have for it. I don't know if there's any upgrades that we do have for it. And that's what we're going to find out today. So anyway, before we upgrade this thing I just want to talk you through the plan here. Like I said it went in the last episode. So the first thing we're going to do is this, repair, shop, restock, as you can see there in the top right. We need to deliver to the service hub, in the, which is in the quarry, free vehicle spare parts. And there is no vehicle spare parts in the quarry. So this is going to work out perfectly. So what we need to do is, we need to um, come up here, pick up the service parts from here, and we need to go back to the quarry, drop them off, and while we do that mission, we're going to move, once we finish that, we're going to move straight into oil oil rig restoration now that requires us to then get in the azor which we've still got in the quarry do a little bit of um exploration with the seismic vibrator and then with the dan we'll get the oversized cargo with the with the trailer that we're going to have in the back we'll go down there and drop it off and then after that is done we're going to move on to, where is it, not uplink, uh, we're going to move straight on to this, which uh, this requires us to build a garage in Zimdegorsk. Now this is going to be very, very, very important for us to do, to further on our, um, to just expand for our playthrough. So that's the plan today, we've got three contracts lined up, so we're going to, without any further ado, Let's get into the customization of this thing. So this thing has come stock with an A plus powder weight, which is massive, considering that this thing weighs fuck all. And then you've got an A durability and B minus fuel consumption. This thing is really solid with a 350 fuel capacity, um, stock suspension, all train 51s, so they're like big. That's bigger than the A's of. Um, and diff lock and all drives are always on. So that is you know a must have for the harsher environments. This thing is a super solid truck. So without any further ado, let's get into the customizations. We do have, hmm, so we don't have the S plus uh, thing, but we do have this. I think this this is the same engine that's in the Tega. So we'll get this. We will probably unlock the better engine in Zimdigors, which will come in um, next, which will come next episode. So be on tune for that. We have the fine tune gearbox that takes our fuel consumption down. Let me just check real quick. I don't think we need it. Because diff lock is always on, and we've got a ton of power. So, and we can't put the the advanced special in there, which is, uh, I mean we can't put the uh, well we can't put the advanced special because that will be in Pedro Bay. So we'll need to go back there and get it because that's limiting some of our upgrades for these trucks. So we'll need to go get it. Um, we don't have uh, the active suspension. We need to go to main for that. Yeah, okay, that'll come in a way later date. And tires, we got mud terrain tires. Um, of course, we got to put these on there. That's cool, 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 cool. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we'll go into our advanced heavy winch. Of course, that's the best winch you can get. Uh, if we put us, yeah, let's put the spare wheel on there. Why not? And for this mission, we're gonna want. So you can put the multi-purpose cargo module on this as well. That is heavy. See how much it takes it down by? Whoa, whoa. Brings us all the way down to an A- minus in power to rate. Um, we're going to want our low saddle. Uh, yes, correct. And can this thing fit a crane? No, you can't put a crane on this one. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair enough. Um, we, uh, visuals, we've got... Yep, I want my toggle tall beacons. Horns, yep. Actually, I like those a bit better. And we got those. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's put the cabin. It doesn't take anything off, so. And um, we got all the bumpers. I mean, I guess with, let's do this one. Uh, we got the heat shielded, the muzzle. Outrolled. I kind of like the heat shielded, to be honest. Or the muzzle. What's, what do you reckon looks better? The muzzle? The muzzle's got that big open. Hmm. It sure it's chromed out a bit, but that's... I, I kind of like that, to be honest. Let's sell this stock exhaust. Rims, we got OHS rims too, which are already on there. 
and color. Let's go down to the two tones. We got a red, red, and white, a blue, blue, and white, an orange, red, and tan, black, orange, yellow, and then you got a green, black, and white. I like the green, black, and white. Is this the same one? And that's up here. No, okay, that's brighter. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay, beautiful. This is our new Dan, and uh, I'm excited to uh, get into it. Um, I just want to double check. Yeah, all right. That, that's uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's get into these missions, shall we? All right, all right, guys. Um, we're back now. I did uh, just do a quick. I did stop the recording there just for a second because I went to the deal. To, I went to the store and I bought something. Because I think, because apparently there are better tires for this thing. And if we go into my tires, you can see. Oh, look at that! We got a bunch more options now. So we got, we bought the, I bought the jack of all treads, uh, tire pack. Hmm. Wow, those off-road tires look kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Much better than. Uh, I don't know. Kind of weird looking, but I don't know. I kind of like them. Uh, mud tires. So this is where it gets interesting. Now the reason why I went and bought it is because you can see there it make that they're, they're a lot wider now. So I just don't know which ones are the best. Like maybe like this one or something. That one's got poor. That one's excellent across the board. It says that's excellent as well. Hmm. You know what? Um, I'll find out really quickly which ones are the best. So, uh, let's just, uh, wait there for a sec. Okay, I think, um... I think I'm gonna use these ones. I couldn't find, like, an exact answer. So, I'm just gonna put these ones on there, because, I mean, they... They say they're, like, excellent... Average, excellent, excellent. And these ones are just poor, excellent, excellent. So, I mean, these ones, by the stats, seem like they're the best. Alright, back to the video, so... Let's hop out of the garage here, let's turn to the afternoon. Alright, let's uh... Actually, is that? No, it's not, it's not, is it? Because I'm picking up... I'm picking them up from there, yes. Okay, so we want... This. Alright, beautiful. Make sure to turn on the beacons for good luck. And then let's get into it. Okie pokey. I'm excited to use this truck. I, li I do. I do like the look of it. The tires look. Oh, ow! All right. Barely couldn't get this thing out the gate without damaging it. That's good to know. Where does that need me to take it? To the parking. Where is it? Ah, okay, well that, okay, let's do that. We can do that along the way. If we can just winch it, then, uh, we'll be able to take it along with us. And then I can just drop it off on the way, so we're multitasking here, guys. Okay, yeah, let's just bring it like that way. Can I winch to the front of that thing? Doesn't look like I can. It's alright, we'll just drag it. I don't care. Why can I not connect to the front? There we go. Let's connect to the front now. Come on. There you go. Come on. Pop back over. It'll pop back over eventually. It will. Come on. I know you want to. Come 
Come on, you're so close. If we go up and around. It wants to badly. And if we cut in. Okay. I'm going to have to help it out a bit. Just like that. No. Why does it freeze, man? No, don't you dare flip back over. You little shit. Alright, beautiful. Oh no. Uh. Wrong button. Alright. Okay. Sorry, I was uh, mushing around there for a little bit, but uh, let's get into it. So, I'm excited to use this thing. It's pretty cool there. You see, like, its drive shaft is above instead of underneath. It's cool to see that go around and around. This this is like, I'll say it again, this is an incredible truck. Because one, it's a lot, the center of gravity is very low, so it stays very, very stable. And especially with these new tires, it will stay even extra stable. And then, you know, it's diff like a normal drive always on. It's got amazing power to weight, and this thing doesn't weigh much at all. So that's even better. It's just, um, it's just very good. It's too bad you can't fit a high range box on this thing though, because it is pretty slow, unfortunately. There's not much you can do about it. Yeah, we can work in neutral, maybe let gravity take it. Yeah. Keep on coming. It is a bit of a slower truck, but maybe if we get the better gearbox for it, it'll excel. Yeah, we want to go, we want to make our right here. I mean a left, not right. If we took a right, we'd be going straight into the trees. We'll pick up our three service spare parts. Or vehicle spare parts, whatever one it is. And we'll get it going. I'm just a kid. Alright, make our right hand turn. We can cut through here, so we'll take this little shortcut. Hope that this all this doesn't get caught. No, alright, sweet. Alright, goody, goody, goody. I mean, this is practically the last, um, the last uh, contract we're doing here in Grand Lands, and then it'll just be quarry and. Uh, well, actually, no. After today, I think we've done most of what is required, required in our quarry. So then after that we'll just uh, be focused on Zimdegorst. We're building that garage today so that will be very very handy to do. I just do want to make sure that we do get the right thing. Uh, but which one were we doing? Is it up here? No, it's this one. Repair this. Uh, three vehicle spare parts. Okay, good. I mean, having all the driving diff lock on definitely doesn't help with its turning. Anyone 
we'll clear this thing out. Uh, legal spare parts. Oh, there's, there's three. Right, we'll back up and get this fuel trailer. divot here but this shouldn't be too bad. This thing does have a, does have a bit of a nose. It looks like we went through that relatively easy. Don't want to get that thing poor on this power power pole. No, okay, we're good. Alright, we're gonna drop this off at the fuel station. Then we're gonna go into the quarry, drop this off, then we're gonna move on to our next mission, which requires us to hop in that uh, which will require require us to hop in the Azov, and then we'll be back in we'll be back in this thing shortly. Alright, this is the drop off point. I wonder if it'll, if it'll uh, accept if we just pull it in. Oh, yep, there we go. Alright, task completed. Very good. Thank you for your service. We get 220 stars and $2,300. Alright, drowned oil tank. Beautiful. Alright, so that's good to know. You can do that stuff while winching. You just so that doesn't actually require you to have it attached to your truck. That's good to know. Got a, just a little bit to go, so we'll get to this tunnel. Alrighty, fellas, we have made it to the tunnel, 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 and last minute entry. You gotta get them last minute. That's a 25 ton excavator right there. 725. And we've caterpillars, the last two numbers, and it looks like a 25 tonner. So I think I'm uh, on target. Alright, let's start this baby up, and we uh, just wanna go down to here and I think the Azov what have we got down there are oh, the tag is down there ah right okay so where is our Azov at uh, ah oh beautiful okay Azov is down there this is where we have to pick up our container so hopefully that Azov is in the right spot all right so the best way to get there will be just to go around all right so let's get to here to here Go around, actually, let's go get fuel first, then we'll come down, and then we'll just go all the way around, like this, like that, and get to the drop-off point. Now, I don't know, this, uh, not, not this mission, but the next one, the one that requires the Azov, I don't know if, um, I want to use this, or the Tager. Because where we have to go pick up this um, can, um, cargo container, the oversized cargo, it is very, very, very muddy. But I'm also thinking maybe we can test what this thing can do. So I never, I never really used this much, and I have done the mission with the tag before, so I reckon it'd be a nice change of pace a bit with this. Yeah, it's all good. We've got pretty much all the trucks out here. We've got the Zix out here still, the Azov, the Tager, and the Lodestar. So. We won't be short of any fuel, repair parts, and we have plenty of recovery vehicles. It is a fail safe plan. Alright, we're entering our first kind of off road section here. And we'll see how this thing performs. These tires should be excellent off road and mud, and average on road, so they were, they were a pretty good tire. 
So I will um, find out which tyres are the best from the DLC pack, and I will equip them. But so far, these tyres seem to be hooking up quite well. I guess we'll I guess we'll really know how good they are when we go down when we get down to that low part. The only reason I'm wondering if um, we should have taken the Tiger is because it is very muddy, and the Tiger struggled through there, and that's where the big, bigger tyres in this. That's all good, like I said, we've got plenty of recovery vehicles if this thing gets stuck. But if it can't handle, we'll, we'll bring the Zix down there to help tow it through. So, no matter what, this will get done today. And then, we are going to be moving on to the garage. So this, that will be quite exciting. to really come out like that, I just meant wanted to get out of those ruts because I wasn't really getting that good of traction. There's a trailer over there I could discover for some 30 stars, but you know, we've got, we got bigger goals in mind at the moment. Oh my boys. drop-off point is in sight, so it shouldn't be too far. This thing is a bit slow. But it's alright, I think it's like an Azov type of thing. But I might have to get a better gearbox. So maybe at some point we will head back to Pedro Bay. I reckon that will be, might be the first stop. After we finish Russia, we'll head back to the Pedro Bay. We'll back, head back to Alaska, get over to Pedro Bay. And we'll, uh, we'll get these upgrades. God, look at this thing shaking. Getting some air on those front axles there. This is all independent suspension too, no solid axles. I like the independent suspension. It's less stuff to get hung up on and it's better clearance. section there. We slowed down a little bit but we seem to have gone through fine. And that ladies and gentlemen is our first contract done. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. And we've got a fuel thing here. Alright, let's unload this. Alright. Contract completed. Repair, sh repair shop restock. Great. Thanks for taking care of that. So with 340 stars and 3,800 bucks and we get a repair station uh, the warehouse and the rep okay, two repair stations. Let's have a look at where those might be. Uh, we got the service hub there. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know where the second one is, so, but I don't really mind. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stop the engine. Or what we can do is we can get this thing down there now. I mean, it'll be the same trip no matter what. So I reckon let's get the Dan down there. Alright, let's get it down there. I right, will park it at the Azov. We'll hop into the Azov. Then we'll do the exploration. That way the Dan's right here. We can pick it up and do it straight away. Alright, that sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to just siphon fuel out of the Tiger. Yeah, like that, because we can always fill the Tiger up right back there. And there's also a scout fuel trailer right there. We can make this turn, yep. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Alright, uh, now the best way to go there would be... Probably to go back around that way, instead of having to go up all that mountain there. So, let's head back out this way. Let's go through here. And then we'll follow this road all the way around. Down through here. There is this muddy section down here. But it's right. The Azov is right there if we get stuck. And then we'll swap over. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get it going. 
Let's see if this thing can turn around. It isn't definitely isn't the most uh she she can't turn the, the best but that's alright. Alright, let's get it going. Okay, this that's kind of worrying me a bit. It is kind of struggling through that. Hmm. It's all right. It's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll tough through it. I realise I'm probably going to run into some dramas, but it's all good. We'll, uh, we'll face that bridge when we come to it. All right. Well, uh. We'll hit it, I reckon we'll just hit it with a quick time lapse and I'll see you guys when we're right there. Alright, let's get to it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, she's handling the off road parts really well. Like, she's got a good consistent speed going and she's like not spinning out along like, these paths. So she definitely does well on these, on this kind of section. But down into the deep mud that's about to come up here, I'm uh. A little bit worried about. But, um, yeah. I think, I don't know how far it is, but it'll be coming, it'll be uh, pretty close. Let's just get through this little divot here. I mean, she hasn't dropped a gear, so, I mean, she's definitely got that power, and looky here, this is the section that I was a bit worried about. But I guess we're, uh, we're here now. So let's see what the best way to go about this is. Did a fair bit of damage to our shops there. I reckon... No, I don't think we're going to be able to get through there, so... The road seems to go around. And if we just... Seems to be gripping okay so far. I mean, I'm not expecting it to blaze through it. I mean, considering for a six by six, it's going at the same speed that some eight by eights would. So let's just connect a rear winch real quick, help it along. Right, let's get over this. Oh. Lifting that trailer up in the air. Alright, uh, we got through that fairly easy. But there's uh, there's much worse to come. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's get through here. Alright, and there's our beautiful Azov parked up there on the left. So we'll pull up right beside it, and we'll start this new contract, and we'll uh, we'll do the first part. All right, let's park you off right here, darling. Let's stop the engine, change trucks, get over to the contracts here. We want to do where was it? I think now it's down here in Tiger Oil Oil Restoration. Let's activate this. Okay, we're only 497 meters away, but the problem is, okay, well, for example, it's I mean it could be right there. Uh, but I, I don't know. I reckon it might be close to up here where the oil rig center is being built. Right, let's start this up and see which way it likes. Seven. Oh, well, this is the right direction. So if we go up, three, eighty, we're going down by threes. About this way. Seven, six, 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 one, fifty-eight. I'm just going to test it real quick. Ah, uh, uh, do you reckon? Mm. I tell you what, I reckon it's better to go this way actually, because then we're gonna we're gonna link back up anyway. So if 99, 97, 96, 93, 94, I reckon this is the right way because that'll get up to them. I reckon we'll have to cut through there anyway, because up here is only 200 meters. I reckon it is over in that direction. Now I reckon we'll just go the same way we did with the dam, because that made it through there. 
oh, like pretty alright. So if we just stay to the shoulder for as long as possible, we'll creep up right there and we'll I'll just try and sneak through this log here. Uh, that's not gonna work, we'll just go down this way. Try and stay out of it, but as long as we keep on side of the tires on the hard, harder stuff, we should be okay. Look at that, that made it through there, no worries. Alright, beautiful. Made it through there better than the Dan, actually, so that says something. Alright, 3-5, 3-4, 2-6. To two, I uh, like this direction. I think we made the right call here. Gonna make sure to turn on the beat. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. But anyway, 304, 302. Okay, we're going down a bit slower. Okay, not too bad. 259, 254. Okay, likes it. Okay, likes this direction. Okay, likes that direction. So I'm gonna go left. As long as there's no stumps in here, I should be relatively okay. One four five, one four two. As I thought, it's going to be close to where this oil is, oil rig is being built. Okay, so I'm number four, seven, three, nine, six, nine, five, nine, four. Okay, it doesn't really like that direction. So what about back this way? Nine, five, nine, four, nine, two, eight. Okay, it likes this direction. Okay, so it wants to keep going this way. I think it might be actually in here. Wouldn't surprise me. Alright, All right, there we go. That, okay, that makes sense. That right, stage complete. We'll stop the engine in this thing. We'll hop back in the dam. Alright, now we got the real hard part. We've got to go all the way through here. And then we've got to get through there to pick it up at the end. Alright Dan, show me what you've got. Put on the beacons for good luck. And let's get this done. Alright, let's... Actually, let's turn it back to the afternoon. Kind of came a bit wide here, but it's alright. We should be able to... Uh, okay, she is struggling a little bit. Maybe the tyres I chose weren't the best ones after all. That's what I'm saying here. You've got to... You can't really trust the, uh, what the, what the game tells you. You've actually got to find out their actual rating. So I reckon this is maybe like a 3.0, 2.9, 3.0, maybe even a 3.2. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have to find that out. So, so yeah. Well, actually, you know what? I think I skipped down on most of the, the hard stuff. Uh, all the hard stuff's back in that direction. Maybe. What am I talking to soon? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think. Oh yeah, we um we went around the hard stuff. That was the um the the hard stuff's going back through there. I mean, uh, this here still gets pretty bad. As you can see, I'm already slipping, so I might want to put this in my own. Water, maybe. God, look what happened here. Came too close to the shore there, mate. Uh, there is a fuel scout trailer up here, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll fill up again when we come back. That way we're not mucking around. All right, now the best of way to do this. This isn't. This is. Is that a solid? Yes, it was solid. Okay. I'm gonna want to come. This sand is quite the mess. So I'm gonna come right around. No bad thing is this thing isn't really have the best turning. But right, this sand is bad. I mean uh, look, I'm gonna face it in real life, this thing would be stuck. I reckon this thing wouldn't have the traction to get through. 
I mean, if you had a hard bottom like this, like it is now, but I mean, it wouldn't. It just we keep on sinking. All right, all right, just like that. We want one oversized cargo. All right, all right, let's get going. This thing's pulling it out here pretty good. Well, we want to get up here. I don't want myself to get high centered. That's the only thing. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Uh, I can't reach anything. That's a problem. Okay, if we just refuel, uh, yeah, okay. Can I reach that now? Any of them? Oh, I'll tell you what, if we keep going like this. Aha, there we go. There's one. And now, we'll be able to... If I can just push this out of the way... Get a reverse. I am gonna tear this up a bit, I might get stuck, but it is all good. I mean this thing's still grabbing traction, so she's making me proud, but oh, she's going real slow at it. But now, lucky for me, I can grab this and now that can pull me out. Just like that. Sorry, fuel trailer. We're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Alright, now the best way to get back. Hmm, that's going to be to go the way we came for sure. So we're going to go around. Um, and I reckon we just go straight back through the way we came. And up through here. And we'll cut down through here. And that is that done. Alright, let's, uh, let's get it going. We're just going to get out of this little spot here. I mean, this cargo container is heavy. So, I mean, what we could do is we could do this little trick where we unpack the cargo. That'll take most of the weight off. Now we just got to get out of this little bog section because we've dug ourselves down. So if we can just rise above it so that it's normal again. Like, so after we just get on top of this, we should... Oh, there we go. We're on the normal stuff again. Alright, just like that. Gonna get pretty wet again. Getting out, getting in was a lot easier than getting out, obviously, because we're going down the hill, not up. Not so much the case anymore, though. We're trying to get up and out of here. Alright, we're gonna go to the, over to the left. She's, she's doing well though. She's doing real well. Alright, once we get out of this section here, I'll, I'll repack the cargo so it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, alright, good. Uh, we'll pack this cargo. Like this. this little bog section pretty easily um, and da, 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 I'll say to the left actually no we won't because I don't want to flip over put it back down to first that's right we're pulling it through this thing's doing well all right all right good 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 We'll stay out of the road just because more more of the stuff over here is going to be more uh, dry. Now we do want to watch where we're going. We don't want to get on any tippy places. 
because of uh, this trailer get, gets real top heavy with this cargo, especially since it's so heavy. If it starts to go, you have to really think fast. Alright, now I reckon we'll just go through the same spot as the Azov did because it seems to do that pretty easily. So if we just go through here, we seem to have pretty decent traction. Oh, he said once he got stuck. Alright, well, let's just do this. We'll be able to pull our ass around. slowly and steady come on girl she might need a little bit of winch assistance if I can just get those front tires up on that more dry stuff then we should be able to climb out of here with no worries alright here she goes she's starting to climb out get back in order now yeah She's doing good. All right, beautiful. All right, let's get it done. That 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 did it way better than I thought it was going to. I mean, but yeah, I mean, every time I've done that mission, I've always gone around the outside. I mean, not every time actually. The the first like two or three times I did it, I went through the hard way. So I always thought that the alternative route was like way like the same so I was like why make it why make it even more harder on myself but and until I actually went around it I was like oh this is actually the much better way so I started doing it that way but I knew it still got muddy at the end it's been a while since like I said multiple times it's been a while I'm in like yeah what am I doing in like yeah but um yeah it's been a while but uh you know it's all coming back to me now and uh we're gonna get this done Alright, and there's a drop-off point. We've only got one more contract to go. Now, I think we should just be able to go down through here. just want to make sure there's no stumps that are going to ruin our day. Uh, no, it looks so good. Alright, beautiful. Alright, now there should be an animation here at the end of this thing getting built. And this might be our second tick. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe building the garage is our second tick. And we'll, we'll, uh, we'll find out. Alright, there we go. Built. Done it. Alright, contract completed. Oil rig restoration. Thank you. I'm very excited to see the data points to an exploratable um, re reserve. If it doesn't, there's talk of a promotion for me, of, <laughs> of course. Alright, you get 580 stars and $4,850. That is a decent payday. Alright, let's turn this off for a sec. And we want to go over in... Which one was it? It was in... Alright, this is the one. Alright, we're going to activate this. Now, this dish needs two concrete slabs, which is four, and one fuel. And now we need to go back here. The fuel we can pick up from there. And then all we got to do is come down here, which is the tricky part then get out but the good thing about the den is that it's powerful enough that it'll be able to get out of the steep parts so that is good so from where are we uh it's pretty it's pretty simple route back we just got to come out through here through here hmm i'll uh yell through through here through here uh, da, 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 yeah, we want to just keep going this way. Right, to here, to here, to here, and we just want to want to come up here and we'll do a turn around once we're there. Alright, so we'll go pick up the fuel first and then the concrete subs will be next. Alright, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's, uh, let's get it going, eh? Back the 
this up. Try not to hit the container. Successful. Alright, beautiful. Alright. Uh, now we should just be able to climb straight out of there. Tell you what, let's switch this back to the afternoon. Just like that. Alright. And we'll just make our way over to the fuel. Simple, simple, simple. Oh shit, wasn't paying attention. shouldn't be too far it's pretty simple now this is uh, I think look it does get pretty muddy down here but I reckon it'll be easier just to do this ready if we just cut across the railway track there is a little part oh what am I hitting uh, just that log it's all good no, no we just we don't want to really do that we don't really right on top of the train tracks like this fucking stay on it for god's sake So get a workout just fine. I mean, there's our checkpoint, but I mean, there's the crossing part right up here, which is what I was talking about. And then we can just do this. We can just cut down like that, and we then we avoided all that muddy section that was back there. All right, and this is the lumber mill that we're crossing through. Lumber mill, lumber mill, lumber mill. Beautiful Dan. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. It's done well. I think it's done exceptionally, exceptionally well for a 6x6. So, let's see if we can hold 4th gear going all the way up. I think it will. Yeah, I mean, look at that. 4th gear all the way up. Not even slowing down at all. Absolutely monstrous. And the fuel is just around there. to hit our paved roads again. No, I mean, not that the thing makes up a difference. I mean, the good thing about it is that this thing has been pretty consistent. It hasn't really slowed down that much unless you really get into the deep stuff. But considering going through all the off-road section and then the tar and then the pavement, I mean, it, it's the same speed, so that tells you its capabilities to per se. Now, I reckon, I reckon we just swing out this way. We need to pick up one thing of fuel. Like this. Right now we just swing it around. And we'll go pick up the slabs. Uh, we'll, we will pick up, we will just fill this thing up with some fuel. Really quick. And then we'll, uh, we'll go pick up the slabs. Yeah, so uh, here we go. We're going to go um, get these, uh, da -da 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 -da. we got to go get these concrete slabs. Just going on with my markers there. Uh, no. Alright, so I just want to come down through here. Um, do I want to go through there? Probably would save me a bit of time, so I reckon let's just cut through there to here, and then this path takes me down. 
And we'll see if we can make that turn. If not, then we'll just take the long way around. Alright. Sounds like a plan to me, boss. Excited for this. Gotta finally build this garage. Then we'll have infinite access to Zimdigors. Alright, this is a bit of a nasty section, so I reckon if we just stay high on the shoulder while I'm not hitting any of the trees. Uh, yeah, this is nasty. That is nasty, 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 nasty. Right, let's do the outside winch to there. get ourselves we maybe don't even need the winch to be honest but we're just gonna be prepared as you can see I, I, I mean she's getting through it pretty good the stands are dams definitely standing oh sorry standing up to the task oh what she's doing now put it back in line don't want to don't want to dig it down more than we have to Stump there, we don't want to run on to, so if we put back there, yeah, I actually got enough grip to speed up an auto. Alright, and just like that, we have almost reached the quarry. Alright, now, 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 here we are, and this is the quarry. Alright, now we're just going to come down through here. And now, do you reckon I can make that turn? And more importantly, do you think I can get back? Up. Maybe. The answer is maybe. Let's see if we can just get down first. I want to take nice and wide like this, and I'd say we start turning now. Yep, yeah, alright, beautiful. Back her up like that. <clears throat> Definitely not on that fall off the edge. Okay, I don't, I don't like having one of my tires off the edge like that, so let's reposition ourselves again. Alright, and just like that, we'll head on down. Take a little bit of damage, but nothing that's too sinister. same way. Conquer side one and two. Alright, now that uh, we don't really want the map for that, we can go up there. Does that let us go out? That does have a route, and if we go take that, we can link back up. So I reckon we take that route. Then we can just go around. Oh, actually, fuck it. Why don't we just go up straight there? Do you reckon we can go up that? I think mean, we can if we unpack it. Like that. that way there's no red weight. I reckon we can almost make it up that. I, th I think this thing has the power for it, but will it have the grip? I'm not too I'm not entirely sure to be honest. It won't get up there, but maybe if we angle ourselves just right. Don't, don't want to tip ourselves over though at the same time. Ooh. Drop it down here first. Alright, and watch her climb. Alright, just like that. Beautiful. Alright, now before we go any further, uh, no, we just want to go straight out there and then continue all the way there to Zimdegors. Alright, we got to pack our cargo back up. Oh, nope, okay. unpack it, unpack it. That's about to tip over. Oh. No, 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 no. Gentle on the throttle. Oh, bro, that almost... That gave me a mini heart attack there, I'm not gonna lie. It's 
pack it back down. It's funny, it's funny how you see that when you packed it, you'd think because of the weight pushing it back down, it put the center of gravity low, but no, you saw it starting to tip back over, so I unpacked it quickly before it <coughs> went all the way. But just like that, we are, we are getting out of here. We have our full load for the garage. Simple enough. It's not really too difficult of a mission, but she definitely, she definitely pays well. It's a good picture. This thing, I like the power of this thing. See that? There's, like, there's barely, barely any axle freeze, and it just, like, if you do a stop like that, it just has so much power to get back out. I like it. Alright, now to get to where we want to go, if we can just. Oh, sorry, I've got, I've got the hiccups. Apologies. I'm going to just go back down this way. Like this. Don't go off the edge. Oh, 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 no, 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 that was really bad, that's really bad, that's really bad, that's really, 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 really bad. Okay, I don't have any, uh, winch points, so, we're gonna have to do the trailer. Okay, that was almost a disaster. But luckily we were able to recover ourselves. So that is... That, so that is good. We'll just chuck a left here. Kind of cut through. And we'll get back on the pavement. Hopefully there's no stumps through here. But it looks like we are a-okay. Alright, look at that guys. And the good thing about this tunnel here is there's multiple tunnels to Zimnigors, but this one puts us pretty much right outside the garage. Like we have to travel maybe a hundred meters and then we're, uh, we're there at the garage. Well, the future garage at least. Won't be a build moment there. And then it's beautiful because we'll be able to go into Zimnigorsk in the next episode with a garage on standby. So this all has worked out perfectly. We've got this truck here, but it's nothing good. It's just that highway thing. Nothing, nothing exciting. This will be our first time going to Zimnigorsk. So buckle your seatbelts for it. We are on, we are approaching. Explain to me where this tunnel is. We've got a bunch of trees down over there. That's pretty cool. Alright, beautiful. Let's uh, travel to Zimdigors for the first time. Alright baby, the final, the final expedition. Ah, oh, look at that, the home of Zimdigors. And right there, people, is where our garage is. I was serious, could you not? Not, not even like a hundred meters. Alright, we're going to do this. And this is our right hand turn right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a garage in Zimbigorsk. Right, back up a little bit. I don't want to... Just thing. Alright. And you guys ready to watch this be built? I know I am. One, two, and three. And there it goes. Contract completed. Kia Buildings Restorations. Well done. My men will get to work restoring the facilities. Uh, facilities. Thank you for your time. No worries. We get $840,000, with a new garage, repair, trailer, and a warehouse is now opened. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you open your garage in 
Mountains of Yorsk. So without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get into it. Alright, and we got an achievement. All starts from a garage. Explore all garages in the game. That is not quite the case. Um, we haven't really... I, I guess that's kind of like achievement for the base game. Alright. And in the next episode, we'll, uh, we'll be exploring. And then we'll be getting straight to it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. We're approaching, we're approaching the, the, we're, we're just sticking our feet in the deep end of the, of the series now. I'll see you guys in the next one.